Hi guys, it's Tramilla here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on all of the products you should be getting in the Black Friday sale. Black Friday is this Friday, but a lot of the sales have already started. A lot of these brands themselves don't have Black Friday deals, but the retailers they're stocked on do so. Selfridges, John Lewis, Nordstrom, uh, Sephora, all of those kind of stores have their own sales. So it's definitely an opportunity to stock up on some, some things you may have been eyeing up over the past year or five. And some of the things I like to stock up on in Black Friday or during Black Friday are the expensive things, the things that are slightly pricey, all the things that are just things I know I'm always going to need and always going to buy. Um, so the first thing I would stock up for on Black Friday is the bio Derma micellar water. This is the classic micellar water from Bioderma, a French pharmacy brand. Uh, this is really good for just removing makeup. A lot of people use this as a standalone cleanser, but I tend to just use it for makeup removal. Uh, not in my regular routine, but whenever I'm filming or whenever I just need to like get makeup off my face really quickly, then I will use this. It's very good for sensitive skin. I have very sensitive skin and this never irritates my skin or anything like that. So I really, really like this and it is 500 mils. You can get these in double packs. You can also get these on like Amazon and stuff as well. So next up, something I would stock up on um, from a brand I would always stock up on, but two things I would stock up on are the Morocco Moroccan oil, oil, I've got this in a mini, and the Moroccan oil dry shampoo in the dark tones. This is a pretty good dry shampoo. I don't know if it's the best, but it's really good because it does make my hair feel a lot more hydrated and silky than other dry shampoos and doesn't feel like too dry and crisp. So especially, especially in winter, I think this is a really good one to try. And if you have like dryish hair, then this is a really good one. As always, the Moroccan oil hair treatment is very good. It's very overpriced. It's very expensive considering it's just argan oil, but it is good. And I do like the smell of it. It's very nice. So next in my miscellaneous uh, things that I would stock up on for Black Friday is Olaplex. I absolutely love Olaplex, as you guys know, and it tends to be the only thing I use on my hair now. Um, apart from the Moroccan oil, I just use this bonding oil when my hair's just been blow dried. And then I use the conditioner and the mask and the leave-in conditioner when I'm washing my hair. Um, but this is really good. I would always, I always stock up on this whenever I see it for like a reasonable price because I always need it. This is their number seven bonding oil and it's very good, very lightweight. When I need a bit more weightiness, I tend to kind of go to this next, but this is fantastic and really doesn't weigh down your hair. So it's a really great product. Second to lastly in my miscellaneous is the La Roche-Posay Hyalu B5 Serum. I've mentioned this before in Favourites last month. It is a great serum. It's not the best serum ever, but it's a really good hyaluronic acid serum. It's probably my favourite favorite hyaluronic acid serum um, around acid in hyaluronic acid sounds scary it's not hyaluronic acid is very mild it's not really an acid at all really lightweight on the skin definitely does plump and restore some kind of suppleness uh, to my complexion lastly on my miscellaneous is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc uh, shimmering body oil a really nice summery scent it's not a scent I would put on in winter. It just feels suddenly weird and it smells suddenly weird, but it is the best thing in summer. It's got the fragrance, it's got the oil, and it's got sparkle. Looks really good on your decolletage and just looks really shimmery, catches the light, hydrates your skin, has a great scent, feels summery, looks very chic. It's just everything you could want from a body oil or a hydrating luxury hydrating product so definitely one of my favorite products of all time and definitely something i would stock up on and buy in a black friday sale when i can get it for a fraction of the price this is normally i think about 70 pounds so if you can get 25 percent off why not now into makeup and sticking with tom ford now this was a holiday limited edition last year i don't know if it's still around it may just pop up again randomly if you do manage to see it get it immediately it's amazing this is the lava luster eyeshadow quad from tom ford i can't open it but well i can open it but i broke it so um i broke one of the shadows so they go everywhere but it's such a gorgeous metallic shimmery pop palette if you just want a glitter topper or something to give you a bit of sheen or sparkle or something christmasy and holiday this is definitely the, the best Thing ever the red one has a nice duochrome to it and silver the gold and the orange are all very true to their shape and feels so great as soon as it comes to winter it just suddenly feels like the right thing to have and sticking to eyeshadow quads pat mcgrath is doing some really great discounts for black friday she always has great sales on so even if you don't get anything for black friday when she next has a sale i would definitely stock up on these products uh my favorite and my first as a lot of you guys will know is this 
Voyeuristic Vixens Venus in Fleurs palette, the best thing since sliced bread. I've got it on my eyes today. It's so good. You can go as subtle or as intense as you want with this. I tend to use like the kind of maroony shade and a bit of this as a topper and just use it with my fingers or the maroony shade and a bit of the goldy pink which kind of a shape-shifting pinky goldy shade or a bit of everything never really this one but a bit of those three and it just gives like the most interesting exciting different eyes and it always looks slightly different every time but also like it's something you can completely rely on it's fantastic every time i put this on i love it it never get it never does me wrong i've still got loads and i've used it loads over like two years really good value for money it comes in like a pat mcgrath mothership style quad packaging the shimmery shades are like true pat mcgrath shimmery glittery toppery shades um and her mats is always a fantastic so this is like great quality great packaging great product when i compare this to the lisa eldridge one i just tried i feel like they're in completely different leagues and this is value for money every single time so i would 100 percent recommend this from pat mcgrath Next up, and sticking to eyeshadows, this is a really cute little mini Bieber palette from Natasha Denona. I wouldn't necessarily say this is the thing to get, but I would definitely stock up on some Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes because she is, apart from Pat McGrath, one of the best at eyeshadows. This is a really nice everyday um, eyeshadow palette. I do feel like it has duplicate shades in it, but it is really nice uh, nonetheless. But she also does these in other color stories. They're very good value for money. They're normally about 20 pounds, but her big ones are the best and they're about 60 to 70 pounds. And those are the ones I would definitely try and get in the Black Friday sales. Lastly, in eyeshadows, one of the best eyeshadow palettes ever made. It's Pat McGrath. Again, this is the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 palette. This is an absolute classic. And a lot of people have it and probably bored by it, but it's so good. It doesn't ever let me down. It's just such a great color story. Such an interesting selection of actual eyeshadows as well. Eyeshadow formulations that hasn't really been topped by her or by anyone else. So this is it here. The best thing about this are this like sparkly glitter topper. These super sheeny shiny special shades. The mattes of course. The sheeny creamy mattish metallic-y creamy sheeny shades. And the really nice variation of brown mattes as well. You get two brown mattes. You get a really nice intense plum. You get a really lovely mink, a gold, and then some really remarkable unique shades, but in really remarkable unique formulations and gorgeous packaging as well. It is just such a good value product and such a good value palette. So I would definitely recommend getting this if you haven't already. It's also a great time to get any other motherships that you haven't had in the past that you were intrigued by. Mothership 10 has grown on me, but if I had to pick between that and this, I pick this every time. Next up, sticking with Pat McGrath and moving into foundations. Two foundations I would 100% recommend. The Pat McGrath Labs foundation, such a classic, so lightweight, so easy, such a good shade range as well. I do talk about that quite a lot, how unique and special this shade range is because all of the shades are actually good shades and real life human shades that actual humans are. I love it. Packaging is cool, it's different. It's a classic, you can't go wrong with this. Very buildable, very lightweight, but very buildable. Next up is my favorite foundation of all time. I talk about it all the time. I haven't worn it in ages because I've got like that much left. And I'm trying to like not buy another one because I've got so many other foundations that I should really be using. But I know I'm gonna bite the bullet very soon and repurchase this. It is the Capture Total from Dior. Such a good foundation. I have this in the shade 5N. When it's on me initially, it looks very light, but it does oxidize and turn into my perfect shade. It's just so great. It gives me dewy, healthy, natural, youthful skin. It's an anti-aging foundation and it really does do the job. And one I forgot to mention is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This isn't actually the Luminous Silk. This is the Power Fabric Foundation, which I do... I, I, don't, I don't really use it that much because it's quite matte and it feels quite heavy um, but the Luminous Silk I need to repurchase that and I will but I repurchased it in my wrong shade last time so I will go in store and get it. It's such a good foundation, so lightweight, so buildable, just looks great every time. Like the Pat McGrath one, just light, buildable, light to medium coverage, buildable. Really, really nice, flawless, great shade range, not as good as this shade range but great shade range nonetheless and great product. Quite pricey, so definitely worth getting in a sale. Sticking with complexion, one of my favourite concealers. The only concealer I use at the moment. It's almost finished, actually, um, which is quite shocking, but I've been using it every day for the last, like, month. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. So nice, very brightening, very glowy concealer, but has a really nice stretch to it. It looks very good on the skin. For the most part, this is a flawless one, and when I go to the other ones, they just all suddenly feel, like, either too creamy, too creasy, too drying 
too matte. This one's just a perfect concealer that does everything you'd want a concealer to do. Cover dark circles, give you great looking, great looking skin, um, and has like a really decent wear. So I really like it. The application is really nice. Sticking with Charlotte Tilbury, two things I would recommend. Well, there are three, but I think I've just spoken about them all so much. Um, definitely the airbrush bronzer, such a classic bronzer, really good at blurring the skin. The perfect shade, I think this is number four, deep. The perfect shade for my skin tone, as is this, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense Cheek to Cheek Blusher. Really come back into my collection as just a classic, simple, easy blusher. Doesn't look too bright on me, but lifts my skin enough to like actually be doing something, but doesn't look too like wacko at like some of the blushes I have and like to wear. So I love both these products, fantastic products from Charlotte Tilbury. I would recommend both highly. And she has a very big Black Friday um, sale going on. So I would definitely stock up on these. I would also stock up on her Pillow Talk Intense Lip Liner, which you guys know I love and also the setting spray as well from her really great setting spray pat mcgrath also just wanted to mention this liquid eyeliner the permacision perma precision eyeliner the best eyeliner mine's just run out and i will be repurchasing this in the sale because it's such great value for money and i think in the sale i'm going to get it 30 percent off so very happy about that the more you buy the more you get off i think if you spend over 100 pounds you get 50 percent off or something like that it's a very good sale from pat mcgrath the best eyeliner the only eyeliner i've used for the last four years and the only eyeliner i would ever ever use so definitely would recommend this as well from pat now moving into quite quite random territory i would say blusher another blush i would recommend getting in the sale especially because it's so expensive but it's a really nice shade this is the rose fur um blusher Number 61 from Hermes, such a gorgeous blusher on my skin tone, really warms it up but brightens at the same time, it's fantastic but it's, I think it was like 60 quid for this blusher which is insane but in a sale I would definitely recommend this because it is really really worth it. Also from Hermes I would definitely recommend their lipsticks, really really nice matte lipsticks, very creamy, great pigments, great colours, sit really well on top of lip liners. I love this one so much, I will put it on the screen now and it's a fantastic my lips but better kind of pinky shade it works really well on top of my pillow talk intense lip liner it's super creamy on but gives like a really nice powdery finish really nice love the packaging it's got a really slick magnetic close and a very cool coin on top which kind of brings back the classics in me i, I used to study latin so <laughs> i'm gonna love it another great lipstick to get in black friday i would say is the guerlain rouge g matte lipsticks they're very creamy very intense in pigment really nice to wear gorgeous on i i wore this a lot last winter or i tried it on a lot for you guys last winter and i really really like it you can change you can have any cap you like and all the caps that come with like a little hidden mirror inside really really great nice wintry awesome proper lipstick lipstick a proper wintry lipstick really fantastic i would highly recommend from rose ink this is the blusher the cream blusher from rose ink this is in the shade azalea but i also have it in the shade darling which is more of a red i actually have this on today super nice super creamy very long lasting you literally don't even touch the sides with these they're very creamy but they're not like very they're not very emollient they're like really nice stiff creams but they blend out really nicely but they don't make your skin look super greasy it just sits on your skin really nicely and blends out like a dream one of the best cream blushes around and i love it very much really nice shade range as well kind of random i think there could be a bit more for deeper skin tones um but the shades that she does have a lot of them do work on deeper skin tones like the azalea one you looking at it wouldn't think it does but it actually does work really well so i would 100 percent recommend this as a cream blusher one of the best really nice packaging simple also refillable as well so you don't have to keep purchasing the same packaging you can actually just buy refills and and get different shades one thing i would recommend that you probably don't need a black friday sale for though is the cream bronzer from glossier i really like this to deepen up my other cream bronzers or to just add a bit of depth to my face they're really fun they're really easy really easy to use really easy to blend out this is in the shade vault a kind of reddish deep bronze really nice cream liquid bronzer and really unique and different uh compared to other things i have you don't necessarily need to get this in black in black friday but just something to get nonetheless also from glossier is the liner the number one eye pencil i got this in the shade frame the black one and the lilac one i to be fair i only use the frame one uh, which is a very dark brown really really nice i will use the black if i do need a black it's a really good pencil it's it's not too creamy and it comes in a great shade range as well sticking with eyes one thing i would definitely recommend which i'm sure a lot of you have tried 
um, the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks, a great cream eyeshadow that you just kind of draw on your eyes. Super easy, super chill. I've got this in the shade Cocoa, which I'm obsessed with and use literally for a, day, a year straight and, and nothing else. Um, I think it ran out, which is why I stopped using it. Yeah, it ran out, which is why I stopped using it. But I would definitely repurchase this in the Black Friday sale and also pick up some other shades as well. And I've also got a rose, a rose gold one as well. They just, they work really well and really easy and they're fairly pricey for what they are. So you may as well like stock up or pick them up in Black Friday. And last but not least, I'm finishing with mascaras. Some things that everyone has a different mascara that works well for them. I really like to use two different two different types of mascara so i tend to use like a volumizing one and then like a lengthening separating one or vice versa these are all lengthening separating ones i would say that the mac mac stack is probably one of my favorite uh favorite mascaras that is lengthening and separating another lengthening separating mascara which also just has the best packaging around it's the gucci mascara when I first tried it, I didn't think it was that amazing, but I, I loved it so much that I ended up restocking it and I would restock it again. It's such a gorgeous mascara, really good to layer on top of or underneath other things. And it's just beautiful on its own for a natural lash as well. So I really love this Gucci mascara and I think it's fairly spenny. So if you can find it in a Black Friday sale, I would definitely do that. And last but not least, it's something new to me, but something I really like layering on top of volumizing mascaras. This is the sephora big by definition mascara and now that sephora is in the uk online i can recommend more sephora stuff and buy more sephora stuff i actually got this in sephora rome in my haul but i've been using it and you can actually get it in the uk as well as the us and canada and everywhere else you can get sephora really nice mascara it's not the best mascara but it's a really nice brush and it goes really well on top of other things so like if you like to like volumize and then go in with something else this is a really nice one for that um, and it's a really nice jet black as well so those are my recommendations for black friday i hope you guys found it interesting hopefully you found it helpful hopefully you managed to bag some deals and bag some bargains let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these products what you like what you've got your eyes on what you've been holding out for in the black friday sales let me know in the comments down below anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we'd love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one